we do the clutch position sensor on a Volvo C70 in this case. Let's see if I can get this in here and show you. There's the clutch pedal. A spring coming down off the back of it. And there's a little lever that comes across. And there you can see with the green plug in it, shine the light on the green plug there, there is the sensor. Now it's going to be a bit difficult to do this one handed, so if you just bear with me for a second. see it's got the plug on it so first things first take the plug off very simple little tab on the front there just lift that and pull the plug out then it's very simple it's just simply a case of pulling it down off that nipple which is connected to the brake pedal there lever there and then where's it gone and another nipple see it sits on there simple ball cup nipple whatever you care to call it that's the one on the bulkhead and that's the one on the rod I'm just going to swap the sensor out and then uh, we'll come back to it I'm just going to check the uh, resistance on it back in a moment right I'm just going to test the, uh, the new one that's the old one you can see it's discoloured by time and a bit of grease and what have you there's the new one. Now let's uh, see if there's any difference in the resistance. If you could just hold that for me, Steve. Like that. This is the new one I'm going to test now. now. I've tested this already, and the new one has a range of zero. Get in there. Quite fiddly to get at. Now. That's gone out of range because I'm in the 2000 ohm range. If I press this down slightly, it'll start to come back in range and it goes down to 200 ohms, 207, 204, 205 ohms. That's as the pedal is pressed continuously. As it comes back out, it climbs back up to about 3K. Now that's off scale on my meter, but uh, trust me it is. Let's try the old one. Let's see what happens here. That's gone off scale. Now if I press it in, that's gone to about 420. So, yeah, so it's showing about 400 ohms. It's about twice what it should be. So I'm hoping in a second I can put this one on and it'll make a difference. And we'll go from there. Thank you very much for a moment, back in a second. Right then, here we go again. The problem I've got is getting under here. It's not as easy for an old man like me. So, get ourselves to the back here. And again, you can see the little nipple at the back there. Let's just pop this onto there. And click, on it goes. Then do the one at the other end. As simple as that. And then let's push in the plug, which, ah, go on, get it. Can you go? Oh, not sure. Maybe the pins are slightly bent on this from where I've been putting the meter on it. I don't think so. But yeah, I think it might be. I think I might have bent the pins slightly when I was putting the meter on it. So give me another second. All right. I'm back. What I've just done is straighten those two pins inside there. 
as I put the meter on, I'd bent one of them slightly. So let's have another go at this. Nipple at the back there. Click. Up onto the rod. Click. And then hopefully this little plug should, plug should now just sit straight in there. Like that. Right. Now as you can see, that's all there is to it. Now I believe these are the same for this is a C70. And the part number on this I'll give you in a second. But um, put this part number into places like eBay and what have you. And it says it's not compatible with your C70. Well, it is. There it is. It's also compatible with sort of V50s, V70s. In fact, most of the Volvo range, I think. Obviously, it's worth checking before uh, you do it yourself, though. Anyway, let's go and have a quick look. And I'll just give you the part number on this one as well. All right, here we go. 94729799. That's the part number, which is also... I forget where it is on this. I think it's just there. It's probably quite difficult to see. But it does actually say... Yeah, I can just about see it there. 9472979. It is... It's definitely the right part. So don't worry about ordering it and then uh, having it not fit. Yeah, okay. There we go. Cleared the OBD code. It's all gone. Um, I'll put a still of it on this video to show you what it is. And uh, that's what killed it. It's only 200 ohms out on the bottom of the scale, but that's enough to fool the uh, ECU into thinking that uh, it's broken. All I've got to do is put the cover back on, get under the pedals, and that's going to take me longer than it did to change the clutch position sensor. Hope you find this helpful. Thanks, Sam. Bye.